Hey there guys and welcome back to another satisfactory tips video and with the announcement of the new node locations being announced for 1.0 I'm going to show you how to use satisfactorycalculator.com to move your builds if you need to so let's begin the build I'm going to copy and move will be this oil tanker here now a few things to keep in mind firstly you need to place down a new foundation for where you would like this build to be placed. Secondly, you need to remember that when placing down the copy of the build, it's going to take its starting point from the very bottom foundation. So for me, the bottom foundation is this chain here. Now, if I were to make a copy of this and place it on a foundation that's pretty much the same height of the water, the boat's going to sit out of the water and actually pinpoint itself onto the bottom of this chain here. So what I'm going to do is put the foundation on the bottom of the chain and super it across until I find the new area that I want it to go to. Now because I have flying enabled it allows me to build underneath the water which is really helpful. So we're just going to soup a path across. Now that should be far enough away. So what we're going to do now is just delete some of this because what we don't want is for it to get in the way of the build once we've copied it over. So we have our foundation here. So now let's go ahead and save. And what we want to do is take that save over to satisfactorycalculator.com. So once this is loaded in, click the click slash drop your save down here. And we're just going to input test save. So once it's loaded in your save, just drag the cursor across and zoom out so that you have a better idea of what you're looking at. So here is our new foundation that we're going to copy this build to. So let's just take the rectangle selection tool here and just highlight it all. Now it's worth noting that the center point of this now becomes the center point of this rectangle. So if it's this big, the center point will be somewhere in the middle of there. So try and get it as close as possible that way you have a rough idea of where you want the build to go. Now, we don't want to delete it, so click the drop down menu here and you want to click copy selected items and then submit. So now that's copied everything that was in that boat. So come over to this foundation here and press right click. And then you want to paste 2,564 items. Now we don't want to mess with any of this stuff here, not yet. What we do want to do is change the paste position to top of the pasting object and then submit. So we let it do its thing. The bigger the build, the longer it takes. Now I think this is done. And what we can now do is we can now press download save. So you want to go ahead and click save changes. Now this will place the save into your download folder. Now that's downloaded, we'll open up our download folder. And there you have it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this over to our saved games folder. Now I've put this here just so it makes it quicker for me. But you'll find it in your app data, local, factory game, saved, saved games folder. Now, at the moment it's here, so we're going to move it into this folder here. And that is my game save. So let's go back to satisfactory and load that save. And there you have it. Test save calculator. And there you have it guys. We now have the original build 
as well as the copy of the build. Now let's say we want to change the rotation of this or we want to move it slightly back or forward. How do we do that? Well let me show you. Let's open up Satisfactory Calculator again. Chuck back in the save. So there's the copy of our build. So we're going to click the selection tool again and just go ahead and highlight it. And then this time we're going to click on rotate selected item position. And we're just going to put in 190. Which is pretty much flip the image. While it's still highlighted, go ahead and select selection menu again. But this time click move selected items position and then submit. Now the X axis will move the build from the left to the right of the screen. So if we just click minus eight meters a few times and now Y axis will move the build uh, forward and reverse. So let's just go ahead and do eight, uh, minus eight meters again. Why not? Now, set axis is how deep or how high it is from the original foundation you started it on. And we don't need to mess with that because we're happy where it is. So we're just going to submit it. Now, as you can see, the build is now moved. It's pretty much nearly taken out the big shell. But that is pretty much how you move buildings using Satisfactory Map Editor. Now, what if, say, we didn't want any of this? We just go on the selection tool again. And we're just going to highlight all of it. But this time, we're going to leave it on deleted selected items. Now it'll ask you if you want a doggy bag with that. Now what that is, is millions of chests. I won't really say millions, but however many chests it needs to be for all the items that are within that build. So I'm going to say yes, I want that. Now, the bigger the save, the bigger the build that you delete the longer it may take to delete it. It may also pop up now and again saying, you know, as there you saw it, it said, do you want to wait? Which I didn't need to do anything. It automatically did it. And now that build's gone. So let's just go ahead and download that save and let's see what it's done. Okay, so I've gone ahead and moved that new save over into the folder. So let's load this in. And as you can see straight away, I'm surrounded by all these crates as well as the whole build pretty much being gone. So there you have it, guys. I hope you like this small tutorial on how to use satisfactorymaps.com. And hopefully you find it useful once 1.0 hits, which I'm really excited about. But for now, guys, take care and I shall see you in the next video.